Good morning. Hello. So this morning I wanted to show you all how to do winged eyeliner. So this is something that a lot of people are intimidated by and um, it's really not that hard. It takes some practice, but I have a few tips that will probably help you in doing winged eyeliner. So first I'm going to be using our Perfect Eyeliner Pen. Now this is a liquid liner, but it's in a pen form. So it's a lot easier to use than one of those ones with the handle and the brush and you dip it in the thing and then it gets all messy because it's really wet and splashes everywhere. So this, it's all in one pen and it's not super wet to where it makes a mess all over your face. It's actually pretty easy to apply. So I'm gonna show you how I do my winged eyeliner and hopefully you learn something. So, first of all, our eyeliner pen has these little thin bristles right at the top. And it's not like a felt tip or anything, it's actually bristles. So I'm just gonna show you on my hand. So you can make it as thick or as thin as you want. I'll show you in a second when this dries. It is smudge proof and waterproof, so it's not gonna be going anywhere once it dries and everything. So I'm gonna start, so what I always do is I start on the inner part of my eye. And I go as close to the lash line as I can. So for now, I'm just gonna do the base which is just that straight across part right there. You just follow your eye as close to the lash line as you can and then I'll show you the wing in a second. So just from one end to the other end. Super easy. Now here comes the tricky part, but it's not that hard. So what I do is most people think that to do a winged eyeliner, you have to follow, or not you have to follow, you have to create your own wing. So you like go like this and then like this and hope that it looks good. Well, that's really hard to do. So there's a trick that makes it look more natural and it's a lot easier. So if you follow the your bottom lash line, so I already put eyeliner on the bottom, um, on like my bottom waterline, so you can see it better. If you follow that and just make a mark, it creates your own little wing right there. Look how easy that was. So you just hold your eyeliner pen right there and just kind of blink and pat it down. Then you have a little wing right there. Now, you probably want to connect it because there's like a little crease right there. So then you just take your eyeliner pen and you follow to connect it. See? Look how easy that was. Like, and it doesn't have to be a huge wing. I normally do a wing like this um, because it adds a little bit and it, when you have a wing, it adds to your lashes. It makes your lashes look fuller and it looks like you have more corner lashes, which is always what you want. So I normally do one like that because it's not super crazy, but you can always make it longer. You, you do the same exact thing, you just follow your bottom waterline and you can just make it longer and then connect it. So let me do the other, actually let me show you this. Okay, so here's the eyeliner that I put on my hand. Nothing underneath or over top. Like, look at that, it's not going anywhere. And it's so funny, when I do this, I have to like scrub my hands with soap and water to get it off because it does not come off. Like, it's not going anywhere. So, once it's on, it'll stay. Um, now, if you do mess up, you can use a Q-tip right away and it will come off. But once it's dry and everything, it's gonna stay there. So see, I just start by following my lash line. OK, 
okay? And then to do the wing, I go right in the corner, follow my lower lash line, my lower water line, kind of set my pen down. and make a mark. See? And then connect them. Look how easy that was. See? Now I have wings on both sides. Now, they're small, but like I said, if you want to make them longer, you totally can. I just like a more natural wing, if that's even a thing. Um, because it, it just makes your eyelashes pop. So I'm going to put my mascara on and show you what I'm talking about. Now this is our mascara. It is a fiber mascara, but it's one step. So you apply it just like you would any other mascara. But it adds length and volume to your lashes without having to do a whole bunch of steps. And this is buildable too, so if you want to add more than one layer or one coat of mascara, you can. And it's not going to make your eyelashes stick together and get all clumpy and gross. This does not clump and it will not flake off onto your face throughout the day. And it kind of separates your lashes. This brush is really nice because it kind of separates your lashes as you're putting it on so that they don't clump together. And I could do more coats than this, but I'm just going to do one coat for now. Just to show you what I mean, how it looks with the winged eyeliner. Okay, so they, oh my gosh, like this is one little tiny coat of mascara, like I didn't even work that hard on it. So look at that. Now see how it kind of just looks like I have more lashes in the corners now that I have the wing? That's really the main reason that I do it. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys learned a lot. Try it out. It's really easy. If you want to try our eyeliner pen, it really is the easiest one I've ever used, especially if you want a wing. Um, so if you're not really sure about liquid eyeliner, but you want to get a winged look and you think that looked easy, go for it. Try our, our um, eyeliner pen. I'm telling you, it's awesome. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll be talking to you later. Bye-bye.